what is going on everybody back on it one piece 468 we're actually doing these i'm doing this back to back um this must be what professional reactors feel like <laughs> you can crank out a lot of episodes like this excuse me for this also it's if anybody ever asks you it's always always pepsi over coke but if you're given the option it's always vanilla coke over everything just so that's established jumping into this though 468 a little bit of a i mean i don't want to call it filler but kind of like a calm down episode really set the stage for luffy i feel like everybody has especially if you're in the marines um you've heard about the kid or the straw hats that uh have been causing a ruckus over there at Ennis Lobby. You've probably heard that if you're not just a low-level grunt. Um, and then I don't know how much of the word got out of what was going on in Impel Down, only because everything with Ace and like transferring him and all that was going on at the same time as well. And at that time, everybody was so preoccupied with Whitebeard. I don't know how much of the... It was known that Luffy was in there, you know, causing a problem. I don't know how widespread that information got though, just with every, like this is a big situation. Like they're trying to get ready for Whitebeard. It's like, oh, he's, they had Ace in their possession too. So it's like, okay, he's in there. Well, like whatever, we'll deal with that after the fact. But if you're in the know, you've probably heard of, you know, Luffy running around. He's, it's not public knowledge, but he has taken out two warlords. Um, and so this is his, essentially big introduction to the world in my opinion anybody who's anybody that's a marine unless they've been unless they're not introduced there could be there's there might be higher ups in the marines or people that are stronger that like they're not the author isn't showing the full deck of cards here when we still got 600 episodes to go or this might be it we might not get anybody stronger as far as a marine goes but for the most part as far as we know anybody who's anybody that's a marine right now or in the navy or whatever um they're on screen and it's being broadcasted, okay? Um, so anybody who's any, he's this is his big bang introduction to the world. And on top of that, it's now been broadcasted that what the world's greatest criminal, the revolutionist dragon, his, is his father. Um, him and Ace are brothers, um, no gold Roger relation. So all this is just getting put out on the table. This is Straw Hat. This is Luffy. You've heard about him. He's here. This is who his dad is. He's been taking on the Marines. And whether you're an Admiral or Vice Admiral or whoever, this is Goku's first time seeing him as well. He's been hearing about him. He always is giving Garp shit about his family. He's like, it's your family again, Garp. And now he finally sees him. So that's essentially what last episode was used for, in my opinion, just to set the stage for like, all right, world, this is Luffy. Now... Where do we go from here? I don't know. There seems to be a little bit of a chess game going on here between Goku and Whitebeard as far as like, okay, we got word that, you know, they're planning for something and as soon as it's set, they're going to instantly execute Ace. But it's like, we were so, e we were able to come across that information so easily. Whitebeard's, I mean, Goku's much better than that. He wouldn't let that information slip. Maybe he purposely wants to. So it's like, Am I playing you? Or are you playing me? Like, am I doing the 3D chess move? Or are you doing the 3D? There, there seems to be a little bit of a stalemate, stalemate there. Um, I'm, I've been under this impression for the last, like, three or four episodes. I just don't think Whitebeard has enough firepower for what I've been shown yet. Now, we haven't seen him run out there and start fucking shit up. But, but even him, though, like, I don't think he could take on th all three admirals at the same time, plus whatever else might be getting in his way. Um... I know I brought this up last episode, but you guys haven't seen me yet by the time I've gotten to this one. I would like to see some Fishmen presence. I feel like that was a big, like, massive for Jinbei's character. And, like, he was, he seemed to be what it was being described as, like, almost like Kuma. Like, he's a very, like, yes man for the Marines. It's like, oh, you guys need me to do something? I go do it. Now, I don't know if he was morally a piece of shit, like the other Admiral that we have that will just, like, kill innocents or kind of, like, chalk it up to the, this is in the name of the Marines, so it's okay. I don't know if he was that like corrupted, but it seems like if he was ever given uh, a mission or anything to a complete like Jim Bay's like 
yes sir i'm on it and like always gets it done so for him to throw away that reputation and that status um for whitebeard and what he did for the fishman i would like to see them rally to his cause you know that would seem like an easy way to kind of balance a little bit of this out um and especially what we were able to just see him do like he's over here controlling water and speaking to uh other animal i don't know i don't know if we do get a, a fishman uh like charge here or we just don't and a lot of other questions as well um but we'll see what they end up giving us so let's drag this over here and uh let's begin let us begin and he's I don't know how Luffy's like moving right now. Do you see what I'm saying? They don't have enough. Is that it? Are these all the forces? The like, Whitebeard, we planned better than this, right? You don't have the the numbers. And Luffy was getting beat on last episode. I don't know if it's a combination of because he's probably past his limit of like um Everything that he had going on with his hormones and then the poison and then he probably shouldn't even be standing right now. Or if it's just like, hey, Luffy's like, like these are some strong vice admirals, you know, he's getting dotted up a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's a little bit of a both or a little bit of like, hey, Luffy's not that strong. And honestly, in this situation here, he's not that strong. I'd lump him in with the vice admirals like he's he's right in that area. And if you happen to be anybody that knows hockey, you're above him. So... You know, it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Quake it. Did he put hockey in the end of his blade right there and then extend it? Or what the hell was that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell that was. I would love to see... Oh, he got cut. I'd love to see one of the warlords step to him real quick. I'd like to see Kuma or Doflamingo step in front of his face. Or Mihawk. Mihawk wouldn't. Um, and Boa won't, unless he somehow ends up in front of her. Coincidentally. Oh, this is his division right here. I don't know why he's pulling a Nico Robin or a Nami right now, acting like he wouldn't do the same thing for anybody else, you know? You just gotta accept it, man. They're going to come save you. Just like Nico Robin, like, we're going to save you. Nami, we're going to help you. Like, it, it is what it is. It's already started. <laughs> it's not like they haven't drawn blood or there hasn't been a first fire. Like, it's... It's... There's no stopping it now. Win or lose, it's it's going. It is in full swing. I hope he doesn't try to like kill himself thinking it'll all stop if he does. Oh god. That was a quick mind turn there. He's just like, whatever happens, happens. I get killed, I get killed, I get saved, I get saved. That was quick. Literally 10 seconds ago, he didn't want any of this to be happening. Now he's just like, he's found Buddha, he's at peace. Well. Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to them. They've already started. People have died for you already. There's no point in, like, telling everyone to run. It's it's started already, man. Guys, what's the play here? We're getting slaughtered. We are getting slaughtered, okay? Oh, Lord. We need help. Mm hmm All 
All right, let's go, man. All right, Mineta. I mean Zenitsu. I mean Matahachi. I mean Usopp. I mean Captain Buggy. It's time, buddy. There's really nowhere to run an eye. Let's get on out there. I was going to say, Whitebeard should know him. He was on a... <laughs> Roger ship at one point, no? Has relations with Shanks. Correct. Yep, 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 yep. Now what? He's speaking to you, man. <laughs> He's famous. Oh, he called that out quick. Oh! Hey. I mean, he's, it's not like they're not going to kill. Whitebeard's not going to do anything to Buggy. Just let's get this conversation over with, right? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, what's the play after that? Mm-hmm. Even if you take him out, then what? It would be the logical thing to do. I mean, he just straight up... Now, I don't know if he's using that just to take Buggy's men and get them slaughtered so he doesn't have to sacrifice more of his. But he also needs it. But it's also like he just straight up said, like, hey, this might be more than I can this is more than I can handle. I don't know if he truly believes that, halfway believes that, and also wants Buggy's men at the same time or what. The problem is they're burning episode time on him. You I you just gave me a whole arc of him. That was the buggy arc. Can we be dead ass? That was a buggy arc. <laughs> um, remove him from my screen. Remove him from my screen. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to it. You must what? I'm waiting for him to make a move. What? What is the move here, man? What is the play? Okay. We got ships of more fodder. All right. Hey. Back and back up slowly. What are they trying to get them in a cannon range? Don't charge it. Don't charge. Oh, God. They're getting flanked. Now they're the ones that are going to be stuck in the bay. They're going to be fully surrounded. Don't, don't go in. Don't go in. Mm-hmm. Y'all are next in command. Don't do it. Don't charge in. He says it's time. Do not. Do not. Do not. Sink the ships. Sink them. 
quickly. Look at Steel Jaw over here. <laughs> okay, that's a Pokemon. What? Was that Enru's uh, disciple right there? Who was that? Her character design is dope. Man has an octopus on his head. Or squid. The girl that had like the six shades of lavender. That was a pretty cool character design. What? Now we're scared. I don't know. This seems like we're not prepared. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we're adapting to the situation, but man, this is rough. This is rough. Absolutely rough. Perhaps. Maybe. Are we halfway? We're past halfway. Jeez. You burned 50% of that front half with buggy. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. That is shameful. This man is death winking the hell out of people. I mean, just death winking the hell. Just spamming it. Jesus. I really don't even have a grasp on what Jimbei is capable of, but shit seems busted. <laughs> I wonder if... I kind of... I want him to be... But I don't want him to be... Because I want there to be, like, a character to be yet to be introduced. But, like, is he the strongest fisherman in the world? That'd be cool if he was. But it also could open the door for, like, no, there are fishmen even stronger than him. Which would be cool to see. I don't know. Bro, I don't want to waste Jimbei on Moria, though. Mm. God, it seems like such a way to sideline Jimbei out of the way. Mm. Eh, I'd rather would have left somebody else. What can you do, though? Eh. Wow, he took their shadow. They're going to instantly die, though. They're in the sunlight. No? Aren't they just going to... Pretty sure those guys just died, no? Like, just DEA dead. But I also thought if the body died, the shadow would die, too, at the same time. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if I remember that. I know they can't be in the sunlight. But I also thought, like, if he has your shadow, you can't go in the sunlight or you die. But I also thought if the real body got in the... If the real body did die, the shadow would cease to exist. Like, they both have to have each other. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Please one hit quit this man and let's get to moving. I just don't see how Moria handles this at all. Like, at all. I was about to say, you're the big bitch over here. What are you talking about? Sidestep. Oh, did he just almighty push that shit? Hold on, focus it. Ooh, wee. 
sound effects are going crazy. And again, is that just all fishmen? Is that hockey infused? Yeah, I don't take Moria serious. I didn't take him serious at the time. We first got introduced to him. Just let us go, Moria. Okay, yeah, that, that was a little bit of a waste of screen time, but okay, let's keep moving. I mean, Luffy's dancing, trying to. Ooh, the smoker run back. Oh, fuck, we felt that. Like, this is Luffy's level right here. I think this is like as far as we go. Like, Smoker's, oh shit. It's, Kuma's definitely not his level. Team Rocket blasting off again. Oh, uh, you got C Prism on the end of it. Oh, we don't even know how to hit him. We don't know how to hit him. We're, we're wasting a gear too. We don't know how to actually hit him. Okay, please flick her out of the way. I ain't got time for that. I really don't have time for her. So what's the trick of making contact with him is the question. We know the trick for Crocodile. We even saw the trick being Luffy to hit Enru. What? How do we make contact with him and not possess hockey, you know? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Smoker is not a slap. He's up there, man. Mm -hmm. Luffy doesn't know that. Alright, how are we getting out of this situation? Boa, what are we doing? Are none of you? Okay, well, blow Boa's just blown it, no? Yeah, I was about to say, you can't do that. Like... <laughs> oh, God. This is just a mess. I mean, I'd love to have her on our side. <laughs> oh, my God. No, but she's... I, I don't know if we... We'd have to put... I'd have to put pen to paper. But she's got to be top ten... Strongest here. And I don't know why, I mean, maybe his maybe his side chick doesn't understand why. She's like, oh, how did you hit him? I was Smoke. Smoker's got to know that there's hockey out there, no? Even he was like, how did I get hit? But he knew who he, knew who he got hit by, so he must have known how he got hit. I don't know why he was so shocked. It's so wild to me that, like, the ones that do seem to know it and the ones that don't. Is it Doflamingo controlling Kuma right now? Or do they just turn him off to autopilot? Okay, he's not dead. Let's relax here. I think maybe they just turned him on autopilot. He's not conscious at the moment. I think it's like he's in sentry kill mode. I still think there, there's a real Kuma out there around here somewhere if it's not him. Um, I mean, the, <laughs> the boa face is pretty crazy, um, but it's so wild of like, yeah, I mean, Smoker, he kind of is that dude. Damn, I'm so sad with how much time they wasted on these episodes, because now it's starting to go back to like, oh shit, now it's starting to go back to like, regu regularly paced One Piece episodes, where like,
yeah, that's pretty great. Where they give us like half of the episodes filler and half of it's like decent content. And not filler, like this might have been page for page in the manga, but like, did we need that drawn out buggy situation? Did we truly? Um, and if there's no more to the fight of Jinbei and Moria, did we need that on screen? Like, if that was really done that quickly and there's no, like, oh, Moria has something up his sleeve. I mean, they do this all the time. I'm f almost 500 episodes in. I, I'm hip to the <laughs> to the formula. It's just, like, I think I talked about it last episode of the episodes have been running so hot. Like, okay, like this. This, the way they were running these last, I'd say before the last two episodes, so 465 and, like, the five episodes prior. That to me, like if you pump out content like that and episodes like that and episodes paced like that with great content from start to finish, that's how like if they were able to run that for a couple hundred episodes, how like One Piece could get in the discussion for me of like, okay, this is it. This is like in my top anime all time. But my God, do they know how to burn time? <laughs> and I'm used to it like for it, but I kind of got like, I don't know. They they do they lulled me to sleep a little bit there with the last five episodes or whenever this started. Of like, holy shit, it's going down. Like, who's that? What's that? Like, oh, they're all on screen. Like, these animals, blah, blah, blah. And now it's like, ah, okay. We're kind of getting back to our regular, regularly scheduled programming. Um, but it's so wild to me that, like... Like, Luffy's the main character at the moment, right? And like I said, I think I said it last episode. He's not even top 15 strongest character in this area right now, by the way. Um, oh, I want to see what, what was, what did Smoker exactly say? He didn't say what I think he said, did he? What is it that he said? He said, she got me, although my body was smoke. But the thing is, you know who she is. And you know what she's capable of, so we shouldn't be surprised by that. It's just so wild to me of like, because by that interaction and by that statement, that to me signals that Smoker does not know hockey, which is a wild thought to me. Um, now, what did it, what is it that he said? I think he called her by her island name in hockey usage. What was it that he said? The hockey of the Kuja. I don't... We've maybe heard the word Kuja before. If we did, I don't remember. So who that is specifically. So he said that's the hockey of the Kuja. So here's the... So now, so now there's different levels to it, okay? So the question could be... Can even a baseline of hockey... I'm talking just entry level hockey, something that maybe Nami or Chopper or Usopp would need to learn, which I think they they need to. It would just make sense to me. Clearly, that's the direction that the story is going is like if you're going to be competing at all, there seems to be like you need to have a hockey level. I'm, I'm going to chalk it up to like I think it's going to be kind of like Hunter Hunter where like. You essentially serve no purpose if you don't even have like intro like you're in high school or college you better have had intro to hockey <laughs> or you can't continue on to anything um and the way that like we saw shanks walk up on whitebeard's ship and people were just fainting and passing out um and then like hunter hunter where gone and kilua couldn't even approach hisoka because of the hockey um i'm going to think that the people that we're going to be running into I think it's just going to be to a point where like, okay, everybody we run into possesses hockey. And like, if you're going to continue to have Nami, Chopper, Usopp, and some of the others involved in fights, because you know how it goes, like everybody runs their random 1v1 somehow. And like, I, I always clown Nami for her little power pole <laughs> that she runs around, runs around with and Usopp with his slingshot and all that other shit. Like, and it's cool and it's haha, it's giggles and shit. And it's gotten them this far, but if we're being for real, 
I would like to think that like even a baseline level of like opposing crews that we run into, they're probably going to know hockey. I just don't see how Nami and them could be of any use if they don't even have like a baseline hockey to at least protect themselves. I'm not saying they're going to have conquerors level or come up with this crazy shit. But I have a feeling to even stand in the presence of others or to be help or assist Luffy and others in anything. They've got to know it, no? Even enough to shroud their body in it to protect them, I would think. Maybe they don't. And maybe the story right how the story will just write them in to always get the non-hockey users as their opponents. Who knows? But the question of that is can anybody with a baseline level of hockey make physical contact with a Logia Devil's Fruit member? Devil's Fruit user? Like if I just have a baseline hockey, I don't have conquerors like Luffy or like Boa, or probably uh oh god, what's his name? What's the old man's name? I got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, the one that helped us. Um, is Conquerors, is a Conquerors level hockey or something really close to it? Is that what's required to make physical contact with a Logia member? Devil's Fruit user? Um, or can any introductory level hockey make contact? I'm curious of like what I would want it to be. Would, if we say it's only hockey, if we say it's only Conqueror's level, that's a very, very like select group, which I feel like I would kind of like because the Logia Devil's Fruits, like they are up there. Um, and I don't know if every Logia Devil's Fruit has a workaround like we've seen with Crocodile, for example, you know, how like if you just have wet skin, you can, you know, make contact with him. I don't know if every logia like ace for example or smoker here if there's some kind of like natural remedy way that doesn't require power that you can make contact with them um if everyone if every logia has that counter um or not if every logia does have that counter i would like it to be that it would require a conqueror's level hockey or something comparable to it to make contact with logia members um because if there's natural counters to it and somebody with like elementary level hockey could do it it's like dang logia devils who really aren't that great <laughs> i just have to have a base knowledge of a power system and i can make physical contact with you it's kind of like eh. um so that's interesting um and the same thing here i don't know with what jimbe was doing if he was busting out hockey in that as well i couldn't tell with what whitebeard did did he just put like i don't I mean, it's like one of two things that he just like put his quaking ability into the end of his blade and then like launched it as a projectile or did he infuse his blade with hockey and then used it as such? Couldn't tell you. Don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, there's a there's some stuff from this episode that we can pull and discuss about. Um, but I mean, I could have done without any of the buggy, but it wouldn't be the buggy stuff wouldn't be so bad if they did it quickly, you know? Um and same thing with the Mori said, so like, I just don't see how that's competitive of a fight at all. Um, and I don't even know Jinbei's power set. Um, or, like, where he taps out at. And if he possesses hockey, I just don't see it. Um, so we'll see again. And again, was like, was Whitebeard just making those comments to Buggy because he just wanted to use Buggy and his men? Or is Whitebeard straight up saying, like, hey, I... I don't know. <laughs> I might have bit off more than I could chew. I, I don't know. I don't know because, again, I haven't really seen him implement anything other than sending just low-level fodder out there. So I don't know what he's got cooked. Um, but we'll wait and see. We'll go ahead and leave it there. There's some decent stuff here, so we'll do what we can. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...